you could be a wolf chasing them because they're like they're grazing animals right yeah. so they're always like that they can't see around them so when they hear something and they do all that stuff then they start running that's what that's their natural instinct to do okay so you guys see all these posts out here yeah. this is where we tie the horses when we bring them in from the field when we start ta brushing them and grooming them we'll bring them out here okay so we tie them with a lead line so it's a big rope. You guys can see Major has a green one on. It's tied up to his halter. All right, so let's get and go into the barn real quick. Let's go see what stuff's in there. I saw what you saw. Oh, there's the barn. So, what are some things you've seen here? Name some. Horses. Wood. Wood. Hay. What about these little door things? What are they for? To keep them inside. They're stalls, right? Alright. So, stalls are... So, some horses, they need to eat their breakfast, right? So, they have to go in their own little rooms to eat their breakfast. Okay? What do horses eat? Someone tell me something. Hay. Hay. Grass. What else? Carrots. 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 Apples, right? Yes. Carrots and apples are like their cookies. They love them. They can eat them all day. Mm -hmm. They also eat grain, okay? So grain is this. Okay? This is grain. You see it? Let me feed them. No, these guys already had their breakfast. So they won't get fed again until later tonight for their um, dinner. But they eat this, and they love this stuff too. You see how they're all getting their heads up now? They think that they're getting fed. I'm sorry. All right, so this is a lead line. This is what I was telling you guys. This is how you have to lead your horse. Whenever you go out in the field, you always need to have a lead line, right? Because you can't just hold your horse like this, because if they started running, how would you be able to catch them? You wouldn't, right? Medium right. horse. They are really fast. Now, do you think this is a pony? Or a horse. He is actually a pony. He's a very tall pony. Let's see. You're going to ride him? No, I am. I am. Me too. Remember, the horses, you can't be too loud. Alright, so what are some other things you guys see in here? Helmets. You see what? Helmets. helmets. Yep, you see some helmets. We should keep both of the helmets and the saddles and all this stuff. And the tap room, which we'll go over there in a little bit. Yes. You put these stuff on the horse. Yep. We gotta put that stuff on the horse in order to ride them. You guys see all this stuff here, right? This is different things from fly spray. We have their water buckets. We have different uh, medicines for them. We have a medicine cabinet and all that. And then we have like our work area. So if we need to fix something around here, it's all right in here. All right? Let's see. And then, of course, you see the pitchfork back here, right? What's a pitchfork used for? To eat. Not to eat. Trust me, you don't want to eat off them. They are to pick up their poop. Okay? Why do we need to pick up after the horses? Why can't we just let it sit there? Because it's going to smell. And you guys see all the flies flying around right here? Yeah. It's going to attract more flies. So we got to pick it up so it's out of our way so we don't step in it. Our horse doesn't step in it. And those nasty flies aren't all around us, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and go right through this door, okay? Yeah. 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 So what are some things you guys see in this room? The belt. The belt. They're called girths, but they are they're like a big belt. They hold on everything. More helmets. More helmets. This is where we keep most of our um, helmets. You see the saddles, right? Can we put a saddle on a horse without a saddle pad on it? No. No. It'll hurt them. 
I don't give them like those little like stores that you get like if you wear shoes without socks. Like those kind of things. So this is a saddle pad. You have saddle pads and then you have saddle blankets. So you guys get and feel. Feel saddle blanket. Feel that right there. You feel and then feel this. There's a big difference, huh? Some horses don't need all that extra padding so they get the saddle blanket. But a lot of horses, most of our horses will wear saddle pads. Because they are they they're used, right? So they have different size people riding them. So we want to give them as much padding on their back as possible. Because I mean how would you guys feel if you guys had somebody riding on you? You wanna be real comfortable, right? Alright. So what are, you see all these names right here? They're names of the horses. Oh, They're names of the horses. Every horse has a bridle. Okay? This is a bridle. Okay? So when you're riding a horse, you'll have reins. These are what you hold on to. Okay? And then you have this. And then this this metal piece right here goes in your horse's mouth. Okay? That's why when you're riding a horse, you have to be careful of how hard you pull on your reins. Because it's going to hurt their mouth. And you don't want to hurt your horse's mouth, right? No. All right. So what's this called? The bridle. The bridle. A bridle. A bridle. What, what is this called? The saddle pad. <laughs> and then we have the thinner one. What's that called? Saddle. Saddle blanket. And what are all those called? Saddles. Hmm. Saddles. There you go. Right. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and come in here real quick. So this is so fun, and the horses. All right, have a seat at one of the things. All right. It's okay. It's okay. Gonna be dirty, guys. Okay. So, what are some things you guys see in here? Tractors. Tractors, right? What's the tractor used for? Grass. We have a thing for it to cut the grass, but it's for it. if you guys come over here real quick. Sorry, I keep making a move. But you see those big round bales? Yeah. How would you would you guys want to roll that out in the field? No, I wouldn't either. So we use this tractor right here. And we pick it up and we take it out in the field. And then if you go up these cuts right here, you go. You see it works. Yep, that's a run-in. So that way they can get out of the rain or the sun and all that. But if you go up there, you guys see the opening right there. That's the hayloft. That's where we get like the square bales of hay, the little ones that we can actually lift. So we can put them in the tractor too. Okay? So let's go back over here. I want to show you some different types of saddles. Can you go grab me one of the endurance saddles? Okay. So we got to sit back down here. No. Okay. All right. So you guys see this right here? Pay attention. You guys see this right here? This doesn't look like the saddles that we saw, huh? No. This is an English saddle, okay? Compared to a Western saddle, which is what we use, okay? So this is a Western saddle. This is the Western saddle right here. Okay, it has the horn, right? And has a lot of extra protection for your legs, has more padding for your butt. And then this, this is all you get. What you see is what you get. This is about the only protection you get for your legs. You have to sit completely different for in the saddle too. Okay? Which one do you think is more comfortable? The English saddle or the Western saddle? Western. The Western saddle. Because really, in the Western saddle, you sit down, Sit nice and straight, and then you just ride, right? The Western, for English saddle, you actually have to have the right position. You have to sit exactly right, or you're gonna hurt your back, or you're gonna fall off, okay? So that's why English saddle is not my favorite thing to do. I've only ridden in English a couple of times. Some other things. You guys, you guys think that horses have doctors? Yes. No. 
Yes. 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 yes, they do. You're their vet. Now, can we take the horses to the vet? Yes. We can, but usually the vet comes to us, right? It's easier for them and get every horse at the same time. Instead of us having to take one horse, one horse, one horse. So the vet usually comes here. And what does the vet do? Why is the vet important? To check on them, right? Give them if they need any shots or anything like that, right? And then they get like a little checkup like we do, right? Right. What about a dentist? Do horses have a dentist? Yes. They do. Horses have to go, well, the dentist comes with us, but they have to go see the dentist too. And they have to make sure that their teeth are nice and healthy. They're not getting too short, they're not getting too tall, or anything like that. Okay? What about a foot doctor? Do horses have a foot doctor? Yes. Yes. Well, it's called a farrier, okay? And a farrier will come out and he will trim the horse's toenails. A big hoof that you see is kind of like a big toenail. And it looks like a big toenail. When it, because they got to trim it. They can't get too long, it's going to hurt the horse. And what, what are those famous metal things that everybody has? What are they called? Horseshoes. Horseshoes. They go on the horse's feet. Not every horse has a horseshoe or needs a horseshoe. What, why, why is a horseshoe important? You guys know? Because it's dirt. Because it's dirt. And rocks, right? So you gotta protect your feet. Some horses have need that extra blow protection for their feet because they have to, they get four feet really easily. Okay? Uh, anything else that you can think of? They won't remember half of it. But it was at least for us. Alright. And when you ride a horse or when you're even around a horse, what do you guys think that you should always wear? Helmet. Boots? Helmet. Very good. Why would you want to wear a helmet? Because no, no, it no, I have no can hit. Very good. <laughs> and you guys want to wear boots and stuff too, right? Good job. Because if the horse steps on your foot, have you horses weigh a lot, don't they? I wear a Yeah, castle. that's okay. For a pony ride, that's okay. We probably won't even make you guys wear helmets for a pony ride. Oh, I'm yeah, we're going to have you guys wear a helmet, but usually for pony rides, it's okay if you're wearing sandals, just because you're helping you get on the horse and get off the horse. Now, if you guys are here for lessons, we will make you guys change your shoes, okay? Because it's important to wear the right stuff or else you're going to get hurt, right? All right. So, oh, one more thing. You guys see that big white fence that we were in when you guys pulled up? Mm -hmm. Why do we like to have the horses in there? Why do we do our lessons in there? So they can't get out, right? So they that way we can watch everybody at once and everyone can be off their horse. That way the horses aren't trying to eat grass, they're not trying to do all their own thing. Because you, because it's the most important thing. Who's the boss when you're riding a horse? You or the horse? You. You. The horse has to do, listen to you and do what you want them to do. Because they're doing good. Oh, an endurance saddle. What's different about endurance saddle on a regular western saddle? What is the horn, right? But is this an English saddle? Because it doesn't have a horn. No. It's just a more comfortable saddle. This one has a lot more padding, and it's made for long distance. Long distance riding, okay? So it's more comfortable for you and your horse. It's a saddle I Alright, so... You guys see those big trailers out there? Yeah. What are they for? <coughs> Not to cut the grass. For the horse. For the horse. That's how we take our horse for a pony party, or if you're riding somewhere else, you're going to take your horse off site. That's where, how we get them. We have to put them in a trailer, put the trailer on a truck, and then we start going. All right, so I think it's time to ride. What do you guys think? Yes. yes. I think it's time to ride. Okay. So. You guys, we're going to go into the ring, okay? So I want you guys to go sit in the picnic tables by the ring, okay? And we'll come out with you. We're going to drive a few moments first. I got two. Three. Yep, that's fine. I want a one. 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 I want a one.